our lecture today about postochron. Postochron is a fixed artificial cast restoration which replaces the coronal portion of the natural tooth completely. It retains its cells by a mean of post or called dowel. This dowel serves two functions. Number one, intracanal retentive mean for the coronal restoration, and number two, it increases the horizontal fracture resistance of the remaining tooth structure. Indication The main indication of post crown is on endodontically treated teeth because the remaining tooth structure have unsuitable for un for any other means of restoration and the core reconstruction, reconstruction is needed and the intracanal retention is the only mean of retention number two realignment of malpost tooth number three as a bridge retainer number four tooth with short clinical crown contraindication the contraindication of post crown are unsuccessful endodontic treatment and significant coronal tooth structure remain inadequate root length caries on roots or in factors to be considered in assessment of a tooth for post crown the first factor is the quality of root filling the root filling should be filled with a well condensed cataperture, especially at the apical third of the root space. The root should have proper alignment because any abnormality in the alignment of the root in relation to the adjacent tooth make the construction of post crown difficult. The root should be without internal or external resorption. This picture show internal resorption. Periodontal condition and mobility of the tooth should be considered also. And this picture show external resorption. Finally, closer relationship should be evaluated. Basic components of post crown are crown, core, and post or dowel. The crown is the final restoration that is placed over the core. It could be full metal, full veneer, or jacked crown. While the core is the coronal extension of the post, it's necessary to provide the desired retention for the final crown restoration. While the post is the part of restoration that extended into the root canal, it gives the support and retention for the coronal restoration. Now we should know there are two types of post crown two unit post crown and one unit post crown. In this picture, we see two unit post crown in which the post and core in one unit and the crown in the other unit. While in this picture, we see one unit post crown in which the post, core, and crown in one piece. The one unit post crown is indicated in teeth or tooth with a very short clinical crown as with lower incisors because in such cases there is insufficient space within the crown of the tooth to make both retentive core and separated crown. So one piece post crown often the solution. Two unit post crown have more advantage and indication than one unit post crown because the crown restoration can be replaced at some future time if necessary without disturbing the dowel core part of restoration and this is why two unit post crown indicated in young patient i mean the patient under 18 years old Number two, when the endodontically treated tooth is to be used as abutment for the fixed bridge, 
it's not necessary to make the post crown preparation parallel to the second apartment number three marginal adaptation and fit of the crown restoration are independent of any double that must be used post classification number one prefabricated or ready-made post it's made from stainless steel carbon fiber or fiberglass material it comes in different sizes and design it has the advantage of simplicity of the technique because it doesn't need any a negative reproduction for the prepared scanner number two customized cast post in this type, a negative reproduction of the prepared canal should be done. So, the main advantage of this type is that it conforms closely to the configuration of the prepared canal. It's indicated on ovoid canal, but contraindicated in narrow and severely curved canal. To the preparation, in this slide. I will talk about preparation of the coronal portion. First of all, any existing restoration, caries, or unsupported to structure should be removed. Most of the time, this will end with leaving about 2 to 5 mm of sound to structure suprajangival. Then, the coronal portion were prepared according to the type of the final crown restoration. Preparation of the canal After we finish our preparation to the canal portion, now we prepare the canal. First of all, we should take a radiograph to see the shape, width, length of the canal beside the quality of the cataperture, especially at the apical third. Then, we should remove the cataperture filling material from pulp chamber using a hot instrument. Then, we remove the cataperture from the canal using a bisorema. We should remove two thirds of the root and leaving at least two to five millimeter at the apex to get the maximum retention and support for the post and to prevent the dislodgement of the apical cataperture filling material. And the canal side should be parallel to each other with a slight flaring toward the outside. Two unit post crown have more advantage and indication than one unit post crown because the crown restoration can be replaced at some future time if necessary without disturbing the dowel core part of restoration. And this is why two unit post crown indicated in young patient. I mean the patient under 18 years old. Number two, when the endodontically treated tooth is to be used as abutment for the fixed bridge, it's not necessary. If there is suprajangival tooth structure, a flambe is used to place contra bubble. It's the bubble placed around the occlusal external surface of the periphery of the preparation and this will provide a good collar around the occlusal surface which will help in holding the tooth structure together and preventing the fracture of the remaining tooth structure. In this picture we can see well the contra bubble and QA. For multi rooted teeth, the post dowel should be placed in the largest canal. It's usually the palatal canal for upper molar, distal canal for lower molar, and the buccal canal for the maxillary premolar. The other canals should be used for the keyway. In short teeth, accessory retention mean may be used as thin. The pin hole should be placed parallel to the post canal preparation. C. 
So the anti-rotation devices of the post crown are keyway, triangular shape for the incisors and elliptical shape for upper canine and finally the pins. Factors affecting on retention of the post crown are number one length of the dowel post, number two diameter of the dowel post, number three shape of the prepared canal, number four accessory means, number five post surface texture. Thank you for your attention.